Okay, so our objective today is I can compare two larger numbers by using what I know about the value in each place and use the correct symbols to show the comparison. What does value mean? Alexis. Value. No, Brantley. Value means how much the how much the number is. It's worth. How much is it worth, or or what uh, what does it equal? Okay. So the question, our essential question for today's lesson is going to be how can you compare and order numbers? This isn't anything new to you. You guys all remember the alligator. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who can tell me what the alligator is? Um, Maricela. If the alligator is eating, what does it mean? The bigger number or the smaller number? Okay, the alligator is eating the bigger number, okay? So if you've got two numbers being compared, you'll put the bigger number on the side of the alligator's mouth, okay? Who doesn't know the alligator story? Really? That's because you came from a school, another school, that's why. you got to be cool at uh, SJVA in order to know the alligator story. All right, so that's what we're going to talk about today, but with bigger numbers. Okay, as you get higher up in grades, you will deal with bigger and bigger and bigger numbers. Like billions and trillions? All right, video. How do you decide which number is larger? For example, if we have 762,200 compared to 759,999, which one of these numbers is larger than the other? In this lesson, you will learn how to compare numbers by using the symbols less than, greater than, and equal to. Let's review our symbols. The less than sign shows that the first number is smaller. 56 is less than 98. Okay, let's stop that real quick because Bailey is not familiar with the alligator uh, analogy. Okay, so. This is like the alligator's mouth, like this. Let me draw it up here so it doesn't. Okay, so this would be his teeth, right, Bailey? Can I understand? Huh? Look like an alligator? So the bigger number will go on this side. Understand? Okay, so the alligator's mouth will always face the bigger number. The greater than symbol shows that the first number is larger. 98 is greater than 56. That's a really good And the equal shot sign shows that the numbers have the same value. 56 is the same as 56. Let's also review the importance of understanding a digit's value depending on its place within a number. We'll start by building a number. We have 4,000, then 500, then 30, then 2 to create 4,532. The 4 is in the thousands, the 5 is in the hundreds, the 3 is in the tens, and the 2 is in the ones. If we were to think about each of the digits value, we would have to think about its place within the number. 4 is in the thousands, so it's worth 4,000. There are 5 groups of 100, so we have a value of 500 for the 5, the 3 is not just worth 3, it's in the tens and is worth 30, and then the 2 is in the ones and has a value of 2. Let's also review our place value chart. Our place value chart is divided into different periods. We have our ones, thousands, and millions. Within each of these periods, there are three sections. We have our units, then tens, and then hundreds. Again, we repeat that pattern, and we have our units, which are thousands and the thousands, then our tens and hundreds, and then again we repeat, we have our units, tens, and hundreds. As we increase on the place value chart, the value of that digit increases. A common mistake that many students make is thinking that 69 is greater than 102 because the digits 6 and 9 are bigger than 1 and 2, but actually 69 is less than 102. Let's 
compare these two numbers. To compare these two numbers, I'm going to use a place value chart, and I'm going to write these numbers so that they're easier to compare. We have 405,672 compared to 405,572. When I compare the value of two numbers, I always start with the number or the digit that has the greatest value. In this case, we want to look at the hundred thousands. The hundred thousands both have a four as the digit, so they are the same. So we'll move to the ten thousands. Again, the digits are the same, and the thousands are the same. But when we get to the hundreds, we notice that one digit is a six and one is a five. Six is greater than five. So if we compare a six and a five, we know that 405,672 is greater than 405,572. Let's look at another number. Again, I'm going to write these two numbers on our place value chart so they're easier to compare. If I were to start with the ones and compare the five and the three, I would get the wrong solution because the ones do not have as great a value as the millions. So I need to make sure I start with the number that has the largest value. So we'll start with the millions. Both of the digits in the millions are the same. So we'll move to the hundred thousand. They're also the same. We get to the ten thousands, we notice there's a difference. One is a zero and one is an eight. Zero is less than eight. So I know that seven million eight hundred nine thousand five is less than 7,880,003. Sometimes you may also be asked to order numbers from least to greatest. Here we have 39,402, 39,410, and 39,399. If we were to order these numbers from least to greatest, it is wise to stack the numbers on top of each other so you can easily compare the digits. If we look at the ten thousands, we notice that all three start with the three. The thousands are all nines, but when we get to the hundreds, we notice that one has a three and the others have a four. Three is less than four. So I know that 39,399 is the least of these numbers. Then I compare the other two. Again, We've already decided that the ten thousands, thousands, and hundreds are the same. But when I get to the ten, I notice that one has a zero and one has a one. Zero is less than one. So 39,402 is less than 39,410. If I were to write these numbers from least to greatest, I could put a less than sign in between and say 39,399 is less than 39,402 is less than 39,410. In this lesson, you've learned how to compare numbers by using the symbols less than, greater than, and equal to. How do you arrange a 2, 8, 1, 6, and 4 to create the largest possible number? Okay, let's pause that real quick and greater than and equal to. All right, let's talk a little bit more about comparing numbers before we move on to how to build numbers using place value. All right, so comparing numbers. Who can tell me what the first step is in comparing numbers? Number one, what should I do first? Daniel. Okay, we do know that the alligator sheet is a bigger number, but we're not even there yet. Okay, I've got two numbers. I've got, let's say I've got um, 39,173 and 39,713. Okay, I've got those two numbers. What's my first step, Levi? Um, to, um, to do the, um, greater, less than, and equal to? I don't even know which one is greater than, less than, or equal oh. to, so I need a first step, at least. 
Okay, I want, yes, but I want to do something before that. Malia. Do you want me to stack the numbers? I only have two, so I don't need to stack them. Draw what? David. The circle. Draw a circle? A circle so you could compare the numbers. Nope, not yet. Alexa. Nope, not yet. Malia. Draw the numbers. Draw them in where? You want to draw them into uh, the place value chart. Place value chart, okay? So I'm going to draw a place value chart or house, whatever way you want to use it. Miss Fernley loves her houses. So I'm going to do that, okay? So I'm going to draw a pretty big house here so I can fit two numbers in. Right, how many rooms does my house have? Three. Okay, all right. So I'm going to draw like a line in between my house so I can put numbers in there, right? All right, how many periods do I have? How many houses do I need to fit all those numbers? Nathan, what? Two of them, okay? So I have one, which is my, what's my first house right here? What's it called? Unit. Unit. What's my second house? Thousands. Okay, I'm just going to put a T for thousands, okay? So now I've got a place for two numbers, so I'm going to put my numbers in, okay? Would my number go here first? <laughs> Does my number go in that room? Yeah. Yes. How many uh, believe that my number goes in that room? Uh, like five of you. Okay. No, my number doesn't go in that room, right? Because it's not 300,000. What place value is my threes in? What place value is my threes in, Alexis? Three. What's my place value? What room? Ten what? Ten thousand. Ten thousand, okay. So I'm going to start here and go 39, 173, and then 39, 713. Okay, so my step two would be to put in the numbers. How many houses do I need? Two. Okay, and how many rooms are in each house currently? Six. Okay, no, uh, there's three in each, but I'm comparing two numbers, so that's why I just drew another line, so I could put two numbers in the house. Okay, make sense? I could draw two houses, but that's just wasting space. All right, so I put my rooms in my place. What's step three? What would my next step be? Natalia? I haven't gotten to the alligator part yet. I need to compare the numbers, right? Where do I start? Um, Nathan. Start from the biggest place value, not the biggest number, but the biggest place value. In this instance, I'm starting with my um, my ten thousandths place, right? Okay, so I'm going to start with the biggest place value or all the way to the left, right? That's another way of, of remembering. I know I forgot my T or to the, but I'm running out of space. Okay, so I'm going to start all the way to the left. So I'm going to look at this number here, right? Look at these numbers that are the same. So then I'm going to go where? Which direction? Yell it. Right. Right. Okay, I'm going to go to the right. Are these numbers the same? Yes. 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 Okay, I'm going to keep going. Are these numbers the same? No. 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 Which one's bigger? Seven. Esme. Okay, so I know that 39,713 needs to be eaten, right? Then 39,173. Okay? Everybody understand that? Any yeah. questions? Okay, I'm going to pause it. Is this still recording? <laughs> All right, so everybody's clear on how to compare numbers by yes. using the place value charts. All right, let's check out this other video. Okay, so this is using place value to arrange um, numbers and make them as big as possible, okay? Possible number. For example, these two numbers contain the same digits, but in a different order, and one number is larger than the other. 
In this lesson, you will learn how to create numbers that are larger or smaller than a given number by comparing the values of the digits. Let's review our symbols. Less than shows that the first number is smaller than the second. 56 is less than 98. The greater than symbol shows that the first number is greater than the second. 98 is greater than 56. And the equal sign means the same as. 56 is the same as 56. Let's also review how to compare numbers. When we compare numbers, it is often helpful to write them on a place value chart. We always want to start with the digit that has the largest value, and in this case, it's the hundred thousands. The hundred thousands both have the same digit, so we'll move to the next place. Again, the digits are the same, so we'll continue moving until we find digits that are different. In the hundreds, we have a 6 in one number and a 5 in the other. 6 is greater than 5. So we know that 405,672 is greater than 405,572. A common mistake that many students make is thinking that 69 is greater than 102 because the digits 6 and 9 are bigger than 1 and 2. But actually, 69 is less than 102. Now we're going to focus on trying to make a number sentence true when one of the digits is missing. Here we know that 405,672 is greater than the next number. But we have a missing digit in the hundreds. So let's write both of these numbers on a place value chart. Again, we always want to start comparing the numbers in the largest value. So, do I need to compare the digits in the ones and the tens? No, because the missing number is in the hundreds. If we look at the hundred thousands, ten thousands, and thousands, all of those digits are the same. But when we get to the hundreds, we have a missing number. And we need to think of a number that will make the number sentence true. The first number is greater than the second number. So the 6 has to be greater than the missing number. There are many numbers that could make this number sentence. Show me on your fingers what you think it could be. Okay, so remember what she said, that the, this number here has to be bigger, or I'm sorry, is bigger than this number right here, right? So the 6 is bigger. No. She said that in this one right here, it's got to be, because the alligator is eating this one, right? So the alligator eats a bigger number, so it's got to be, okay, so it's got to be less than the 6. So my finger. Got a couple options. Good. Okay, so as long as you're less than 6, you got it. It's true, as long as it's less than 6. So, let's try a 5. Yeah. 405,672 is greater than 405,598. Some other numbers that would also work to make this number sentence true would be a 4, a 3, 2, 1, or 0. Let's look at another number. Now we're comparing two numbers, but the digit in the thousands place is missing. Again, we need to think about which digits do we need to compare. So let's write those numbers on a place value chart. We always want to start with the Show digits that have the largest value. So we'll compare the millions. The millions are the same. The hundred thousands are the same. The ten thousands are the same. But when we get to the thousands, we notice that the dig one digit is missing. To make this number sentence true, we have to pick a number that is less, we have, that is greater than 7. We could pick an 8 or a 9 to make this number sentence true. 5,007,506 is less than 5,009,671. What is the largest number that can be made with these digits. Here we have a 4, 7, 3, 1, and 6. 
and we want to arrange them to make the largest number possible. What do you think? Show me on your fingers. No, you can. You can. What, what would be the first digit to make it the biggest number? No, no, just the first, the first number. If I use a place value chart, I know that I want my largest digit to be in the place that has the largest value. So I will take my 7 and put it in the 10,000s. The next largest digit is a 6. And I will put that in the thousands. Then we have a 4 for the hundreds, a 3 for the tens, and a 1 for the ones. I've created 76,431. This is the largest possible number that can be created with these digits. Let's use those same digits, but this time ask, what is the smallest number that can be created with these digits? Again, if we use our place value chart, we know if we want to make the smallest number, we need to put the smallest digit in the largest place, which would be the ten thousands. Then we'll take the next smallest, which is a 3, and put it in the thousands. Then a 4 in the hundreds, a 6 in the tens, and a 7 in the ones. And we've created 13,467. If we want to make the smallest number possible, we want to put the smallest number in the place that has the largest value. In this lesson, you have learned how to create numbers that are larger or smaller than a given number by comparing the values of the digits. Yeah. All right. Um, this was me trying to do a number line, which didn't. Yeah. All right. So in fourth grade, it's really important to be able to know number lines. Okay. We're going to be using number lines when we do decimals. We're going to be using number lines when we do fractions. So using number lines to compare numbers is also pretty important. So I wrote two numbers down here. I've got 51,300. Sorry, I know you guys can't all see. Uh, 51,300 and 53,100. So I'm going to plot these points. What do I mean by plot these points? Malia? Put them on the number line. Okay, plot just means to put them and to put them on the number line. Okay, so I have 51,300, which is going to be, unfortunately, this um, number line is not exact, and neither will my dots be. Okay, all right, so 51,300 and 53,100, which is going to be way over here this way, right? Okay, probably right there. Okay, now can I use that to compare numbers? Yes. Which one's bigger? David. Okay. To the right and bigger. Okay, you should make a note of that because you'll need to know that. So on a number line. <coughs> to the right is bigger. Okay. Okay, and that is it. So for your WSQ on your notes right now, please put these numbers in order from greatest to leadest. least. Let's try that again. Put these numbers in order from greatest to least, but then explain in words how you put them in order. Okay, so you guys are going to work on that right now.